but that means only another 100 points <laughs> left on your prediction. Sure. So is it over? You know, we actually established those targets back in December when everyone thought we were headed to, you know, recession and worse. Zero. Right, exactly. Yeah. So blood pressure is relieved a little bit. And at this point, I'd say the bias is maybe to take that up uh, to higher levels. If I would have said, you know, above 3,000 back then, I think they would have, you know, burned my house down. People were so grumpy. So we do think the backdrop is, is favorable. The fundamentals are very favorable. So instead of 3,000 potentially, where do we go potentially? I think, you know, 3,000, if you put a normal handle of 16, 16 and a half, 17 times on 7% growth in earnings over the, you know, 2019 20 time frame, it gets you to that 3,000 and a little bit above. So for multiples to lift a little bit in a low inflationary environment with these good fundamentals, you could, you know, go to 31, 3,200 um, comfortably, I would think. But I, it's really about trend, Tyler. Yep. yep. Get the trend. And, yep. and I'd say we're still there. We're Chetan, still there. what do you see in the economy that either heartens you or worries you? Well, we think that the, the economy is going to recover from here. First quarter 2019 will be the trough in global growth. Uh, we see it recovering from 3.2 to 3.5, which is going back to trend. And we think it's the easing trio which is uh, going to help, which is essentially trade tensions easing, we have uh, China policy easing, and we have Fed's flexibility on policy approach. So these three factors we think will drive that global recovery. Mind you, these were the three problems that we were facing in the fourth quarter of last year. And we have visibility now that all the three factors will actually support this recovery. Uh, we, will think that, we think that this will be driven more by the rest of the world than the U.S., uh, so the recovery in the rest of the world is going to be even more prominent. It will go from the trough of 3.3 to 3.9. That's a meaningful rebound that you should see in the global growth uh, in parts of the world other than the U.S. And so you see a change in the trade outlook as critical to that. That means Europe, I assume, and China. Yeah, it's essentially being from a demand perspective going to be driven by China. But from a policy perspective, it is the U.S. and China trade tensions that is a critical component of uh, this story. And we think that in China's case, it's not just trade tensions easing that will help its recovery, uh, but the stimulus that has been laid out by the government so far seems quite sizable. It's 1.75 percent of GDP, or call it $250 billion. We think that's a sizable stimulus that will help recovery in China. We should get that data confirming tomorrow that China's recovery is actually taking hold in the month of March itself.